Hello everyone, today I react to the Hunter x Hunter endings. Originally I don't react to endings because mostly I don't know what to say because they're always credits and they are not always happening a lot of things and it's boring. But people said that the endings of Hunter x Hunter are really good so I will give a try and look at them. So let's go with the first ending. Okay, I like the song, it's very hype for ending. This also looks like a wallpaper. Okay, just like stage lights. You feel like a field run. A field tree. <laughs> there are so many characters. Okay, just a background moving. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> this clown gets so much screen time. Damn, this emotions. <laughs> Gone is running like a short character with a sidekick and all the others. <laughs> and now falling. Ooh. Crying blood. Is We also end like with the beginning, with the wallpaper styled. Okay, so far this song is so amazing. I love metal, I love rock and to hear this in the ending, like this is the way to end ending, like ending good episodes. You just want to sing or scream along in this way. And it's, <laughs> this is amazing. You people are right. And there's also more happening like in the openings. And this song, <laughs> It's amazing. It's like there are also those very typical show elements like falling with the sky in the background and you have of course people running but also there are like very short glimpses of some pictures that are looking a bit more disturbed like with the emotions of the clown guy or uh, Kilwa crying blood tears or something like that. So it has something mystery to it. So I really like it. So let's go to the second ending. Okay, this song is so hyped. I really like it. There's so much happening. Even though this is the ending. <laughs> it's very fast, even though you just see like pictures, but it's very beautiful. Oh god, who's this guy with this, uh, with this teeth? Okay, this music is so good. We've got so many characters, they all look so good. The character designs are amazing. Of course, we see the clown. Okay, who's this guy with the cross? Ooh, they're all connected. Okay, the song of Hunter, uh, so far the songs of Hunter x Hunter are amazing. <laughs> this just, like, this is something like combined Japanese openings with a little bit of rock which you hear, or yeah, more rock from 80s, 90s, and you've got this amazing opening. It's, it's all very dramatic for ending, it's what I say, I want to say endings, not openings. If I say openings, I mean endings. <laughs> but... Yeah, so the character designs, like I said already for the openings, I really love the ca uh, character designs in Hunter x Hunter. But you also see this here in the endings, it's very beautiful to see. So let's go for the opening. I, so far I think the music will always be good. Okay, okay this is a song choice. ついに幻のゲームグリードアイランドに足を踏み入れたゴン <laughs> It's a bit like a whole castle, but not moving. And more sophisticated. Oh, now you get rap. A little bit more faster. What the hell is happening? Okay, this looks very cute. And the food looks delicious. 
Are they in Easter land or Easter egg land? <laughs> the magical brush. What the hell is with this horse? <laughs> Is it yo yo? Oh, why he has a necklace? I have so many questions, but it's too good. I have the glow rings that are expanding. <laughs> okay, we haven't seen her so far in the uh, endings. Of course, we get cherry blossoms, they are always there. Okay, again, this is such a different song style, it's amazing. And this is like more happy fitting for the pictures because it's very cute. I don't know what the land is, but it looks like Easter eggs all over the place. It looks very cute. We get this new girl character with this uh, like very huge blonde hair. And which fascinated me most was this horse with this really big mouth. I don't know how this works, but it looks very funny. So let's go to Ford opening. I'm so excited for the music choice. the hell are they smoking to get such song choices? <laughs> okay, I can't take this music seriously, it's just a, so dramatic. <laughs> okay, so we get flashbacks or scenes from the uh, episodes. Oh no, we got on the set! Ooh, the background is beautiful. The character designs are marvelous. The song. <laughs> ah, the night sky, beautiful. Now throwing the pebbles, or not? Sunrise! Aww. It's not happening a lot, but it's looking beautiful. No. Cute. Okay, again, the song choices are... <laughs> you can't explain it. This time I couldn't take the song really serious because it's so over dramatic. Sometimes you just like... I don't know, it's very dramatic. But also, if the animation wise, it's not happening a lot. I really like it, especially the ending because this is beautiful night sky. He's like throwing the pebble, which is also looking like a star, which is like falling, not falling, but I don't know the word for it. Whatever, that's looking beautiful. And then they see the sunrise together. They're looking really happy, like best friends, and very cute ending. Let's go to fifth opening. Such a different choice. Okay, so we will scroll down through all the characters. Like, look at this character size. These are character sets that you don't see a lot. Oh, we get the butterfly guy. And the insect guy. And the overpowered old guy, which you've seen in the openings. Okay, what the hell is happening? This insect guy is really important. Damn. <laughs> ah, they look like the playstones of this one game. Very beautiful animations. Damn. The ponytail guy is important. Who is this? Ooh, this is beautiful. It looks like church glasses. Okay, this is again the song. I don't have to tell you anything about the songs where I love them. But like here in the end, especially with the, like this last scene, I don't know if you were in churches, but like here in Europe we have really beautiful old churches, and they have all very stained glasses. And if their sun is uh, sun is full, well, the rays of the sun are just falling in them. They just look like in this image, and 
also like their uh, drone, it looks very similar to them. So it's very beautiful, put better like in the church. And <laughs> I don't know who the guys with this very huge ponytail, but I imagine cosplayers pulling it off and I don't know how they do it because it looks so crazy. I don't know, very beautiful opening. I don't know what to say, but it's very good. I, You were, you were right, the endings of Hunter x Hunter are even better than the openings. No, they're all in men in black. <laughs> now it reminds me a little bit of the Tokyo Girl openings with uh, Ken, uh, with Kaneki in the this chair in the sky, and I don't know. <laughs> oh, we still get the moon. Very beautiful. Damn. They know how to animate the night sky and sky itself. The galaxy. Damn. They really know how to animate things. And sunrise. No. <laughs> People <are> actually moving! <laughs> no! Cute. Very cute. Okay, even though there is again not a lot of things happening, it is just very beautiful. I think this is one of the best studios that know how to animate skies, especially with night skies, with the moon rising, the stars, and then the sun rising, also very beautiful. And also I really like the tall guy, which like, oh, we're really standing serious. And then he's just like in the end, like looking around, why are you not moving? What is happening? <laughs> very amazing, maybe fitting for his character. So all in all, you were right. The endings of Hunter x Hunter are amazing, especially your songs. I know that right after this, uh, yeah, Thing that I'm direction, I would just go to Spotify, download it, and hear it all through because the endings, especially the second and first ending, I have to hear them again. Very beautiful, very amazing endings. And even though the animations are not a lot of happening, they are really beautiful. Like, look at the night sky, really amazing. So, all, all thanks for <laughs> reminding me to look at the endings. And what is your favorite ending? Why do you like Hunter x Hunter? Please tell me in the comments and yeah, thank you for watching. Have a nice day.